is up everyone, John Florenzo Fitness here. If you don't know who I am by now, I'm a local fitness expert located in Tulare, California. It's gonna be a short video, I just wanna make this brief. This is gonna get as real as it gets, so right now if you get easily offended, which I don't understand why you could for any reason, but I'm gonna tell it how it is and I'm gonna help you lose weight for 2016 in this video right here. So I'm gonna give you diamonds of knowledge right now that's gonna help you get to where you wanna be this summer, okay? And then what you could do with this, you could apply it to other parts of your life and get to where you wanna be, okay? So, uh, what I'm here to talk to you about today is that I work with a lot of people who get motivated. So, you know, I get motivated, you get motivated, and we could get motivated for different things, whether that's to lose weight at a certain time frame, or whether that's to make more money so we, you know, we work hard, get a promotion at our job, or we strive to improve our relationships with other people in our own relationships with our significant others, or... Um, relationships with our friends, family, coworkers, things like that. So we all get motivated by something. If we weren't motivated, we wouldn't be doing much of anything. Wouldn't you agree, right? So we get motivated, and that's the cool thing because everybody can get motivated. Everybody can get inspired. Everybody can get um, passionate about something. As I've, as I, as I'm getting passionate about talking to this, talking to you about this right now. So. Um, but there's a few amount of people, very little amount of people actually stay committed, okay? There's people, there's a lot of people who get motivated, and then there's a lot of people who, there's a, a little bit amount of people who get committed and ride the thing out and they get to where they want to be. Now, I've been trying to figure out why people can't make that transition, and I'll tell you why right now. There's two things that's going to help you make that transition right now. Here's what it is, okay? You need to make goals. These are two types of goals, okay? These are two types of goals that you need to make right now. If you have a piece of paper and a pen, I want you to write this first one down, okay? So the first one, I want you to write down an unrealistic goal. You heard that correctly, let me say it again. An unrealistic goal. So let's say, for example, you are a woman who weighs 262 pounds and you need to lose 100 pounds in five months, that's an unrealistic goal. If whatever you think in your mind is unrealistic, that's unrealistic, okay? If you don't think you can do that, then write it down. Okay, then I want you to write down another goal, a small goal that I want you to start doing as soon as possible. And this is something you can do for the week, this is something you can do for two weeks, three weeks, for a month, until you feel comfortable on adding more to your resume of goals to do, okay? And that's gonna be a small goal, whether that's to walk for an hour in your park, neighborhood, of course, where you feel safe. I'm not gonna ask you to do something that you're not gonna feel safe at. Um, or whether that's to do a plank. Whatever goal that you feel you can do, a small goal that you can do today, but it has to be today, it can't be anymore. It can't, it has to start right now, it has to start today. So within the time before you go to bed, it, you need to do that or else, if you can't even do that, then don't even bother attempting to get to where you want to be. I'm just gonna say it straight up. If you can't, if you can't make time to make something something small like that happen, then how can you expect to make something big happen? So that's that's there's the first thing. There's the reasoning behind that. So I want you to get inspired. I want you to get motivated by the unrealistic fucking goal that's there. That's there. That's that's that you feel like you can't do. That you feel that oh my gosh. Oh, I need if I get to do it. I need, to get, I need to get started right now. Do you see the thinking right there? You see the mindset? That's, oh, I, if I gotta do this, I gotta do this now. So what's the small goal? Because I am assuming that everybody here, I'm just, just, I'm just assuming that you've tried everything, but nothing works. You know, you've worked with trainers, but you know, they were unknowledgeable. They didn't help you out in the way they, they could, or maybe that they, they were in it for themselves and they didn't really give, a shit about you, which I apologize. That's how no trainer should act like that. And I'm here to change that. Now, um, you need to set a small goal and you need to do it today before you go to bed. Okay. And you need to do that for the week. And then once you feel you could add that to your list of habits that you do throughout the day, then I want you to add another goal and then another goal and then another goal that a small goal that you need to start as soon as you write it down. Okay. And you make time for it. 
So once you develop those goals, those goals, those small goals that you achieve every day, those turns into habits. Those habits turn into a routine, and that routine is what's going to help you reach that so thought that that so-called unrealistic goal that we mentioned before. Now, of course, you know, with a routine, you know, it might speed up your results, it might slow down your results. So that's why we have to keep adding more and more or modifying our goals and seeing what we can do. I still want you to keep that unrealistic goal there. You're still gonna keep it. That's the thing that's not gonna change because you need something to motivate you. If I told you to lose 100 pounds in three years, you're gonna put that shit off and you're not gonna do it. Oh, well, I have two years and, um, and six months. Or I could do it in two years or maybe a year and a half. No, no, you need to set something right now. You need something that's gonna get your ass off the couch and do something. So that's the first thing, goals, okay? You need to set an unrealistic one. I'm gonna mention this again. You need to set an unrealistic one that you think is unrealistic and then I need you to start adding small goals to your repertoire. First one each week, then a second one. So you'd be doing two goals, three goals, four goals by the end of the month. So whether that's to do walk for an hour, hold a plank for 30 seconds, um, do a little bit of crunches and watch what you eat. There's four. There's four things right there that and that you can modify as you get better because we're all gonna get better if we keep doing it. The thing is that a lot of people are afraid to get the ball rolling and we can't get anywhere if, if we don't have any momentum. So you need to start somewhere. We all start somewhere. I started somewhere. You know, I just used to curl. I used to just curl in the gym. You know, and then not knowing anything. And then I got to this point where, okay, something has to give. I need to figure out what to do. And this is what I'm going to do. This is how I'm going to achieve it. So I took the liberty upon myself to take action. This is the second thing that's going to, that you're going to do. So you have the goals there and you need to take action on it every day. You can't put it off for tomorrow. You can't. You can't put it off for the next day. You can't say, oh, I'll just do it later because you need to do this now. You need to have this mindset that whatever goal that you achieve, you need to take the action that's required, the massive level of action that's required in order for you to achieve what you want or else we're not gonna get there. We're not, what's the point of me even talking into this camera trying to inspire and motivate you, right? I told myself in the beginning of seriously working out that I was gonna have abs at the end of the year. And I did that. I got abs and I even got my legs to get a little cut up too. And now I'm known for having the biggest legs here in Tulare. I'm known for lifting heavy. You know, I'm known for some things. I've done, I have not for a lot, but I've, I have some, I have some personal accolades that I have and I uh, plan on making accolades that will make me known because I want to be great. Those are goals that I have for myself. Those are unrealistic goals that you think I might have for myself, but I'm working on those goals every day. And so that's what I want to teach you. I want to make little mini versions of myself. I want you guys to dominate. I want you guys to own the fucking world. I want you guys to be happy and be comfortable in the body that you want to build. Okay. So take that information with you and then apply it to other parts of your life. And once you do that, I swear to God, my friend, that you will achieve whatever you want in fitness and in life. Peace.